Jasper John's place in contemporary art is immeasurable. He's one of the most important artists of our time. You can trace back every tendency in contemporary art to the early work that Jasper Johns did in the 1950s. You could argue, and, and commentators do, that those early symbols and signs were the beginning of the American pop art movement, that it was also the birth of minimalism. All of those things can be traced back to John, so his prominence within contemporary culture can't be overestimated. John's success came very early, when he was 28, in 1958, Leo Costelli, who was a young gallerist, saw his work in a loft, no one had ever seen it before, which was the flags, targets, numbers, and offered him a show. And he was catapulted into the art world. I think there were 18 works in the exhibition, he sold all but two. Alfred Barr, founding director of MoMA, bought three. So convinced was he of, of the importance of these works. And that was extraordinary for such a young artist. He's very concerned with the painting as the object, and that's something that he got very much from Marcel Duchamp, and this idea about what is a painting, what constitutes a work of art. He was looking at things that we see but we don't register, things the mind already knows, and the flag was a great example of that. He had to answer questions to himself about, well, do I make this the right proportions? How do I orientate it? Do I, am I true to the colors? How much do I want this to look like a real flag? And it draws the viewer in. That's the point at which you question, what is this? And it's still that idea of the search for the truth. Jones is fascinated by re-examining the same subject, often in a different media, to see what the tension is between the two. The flag is one of those emblems and, and symbols that he kept repeating because he was fascinated by it. This flag from 94 is modest in scale and it's painted in acrylic, a medium that he used from the, the late 1950s. It looks on first sight like a Jasper Johns monochromatic work. But then you see these hints of colours coming through. The red glows, the white shimmers, the blue is, is, has got that wonderful crispness. He's also worked graphite over the surface, so you get this almost scribbling effect, but within the margins of the stripes running um, horizontally across the canvas. It's typical of John's work and that it kind of really pulls you in and because you see this hint of something else going on behind, it, it concentrates the mind it completely changes your perception of it because you know the American flag is red, white and blue and if those colours aren't dominant and don't immediately jump out at you, you think about it in a slightly different way. And of course that's what Johns wants us to do. Within Johns's works there's a complexity in his vision. It's the poetry of the work, it's the beauty of the work, but it's also that kind of absolute intellect that sits behind it that is constantly challenging us to look harder, look better, see more.